everybody here for Thursday. Welcome to Change Your Lives, hosted by your truly Deontay Burton. We got an awesome show planned tonight. Tomorrow, tonight we asked a simple question. How'd that work out for you? That's right. I know we done been through things in life where you see people, you know, they want to rush, they want to do what they want to do. You try to give them advice, you try to steer them in the right direction, but they, ah, I got it. Right. I'm going to do what I want to do. And you ask that simple question. After a while, you don't want to sit there and throw up in their face. You see them, they, they come back to you. They got that look like you were right. You don't say that, but you that's a simple question. How'd that work out for you? <laughs> <laughs> right. Come, coming up to the holiday season. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Angela? There's some good stuff to ask right here. Yeah, how'd that work out for right, you? Right, right. We good yeah. with that. There you go. <laughs> well, listen, guys, you know, again, it's a change live host by your truly Deontay Burton. The night show we're talking about asking that question, how'd that work out for you? Pretty much based on, you know, making decisions based off emotions and not logic. And we're going to kind of revisit and talk about a couple of different scenarios and situations in regards to where people, you know, use emotions before they use logic. And I'm a firm believer, I think probably 80% of the world moves on uh, emotion and not necessarily logic, you know? Let me call it. Uh, Slick, you are on Misfits of Comedy, uh, my friend. You might want to get on Westside Misfits putting that, putting that up there. Just letting you know, she be doing a lot. She been up all night, so we gotta let her slide. Slick in the building, of course, mm-hmm. as always. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and with that, I'm gonna introduce some of my awesome uh, producers. Number one, DJ Lab. What's happening, brother? What's going on? Man, what's, what's going on? What's going on? And also, Slick Three Sixteen. She wor- working the ones and twos That's remotely. Right. That's right. And uh, trying to get Cliff some of my air time, but we ain't gonna <laughs> do that. <laughs> No, no, no. Right, right, right. Like, yeah, man, they doing my show live for me. No, 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 no. <laughs> nah, bro. We got to get how you live. <laughs> mm. All the way, man. All the way. Lab, you ready for Christmas, man? <sighs> actually, I, I am now. Well, mm. no. Actually, no, I'm not. I was, but then the monkey wrench got through in the program. Uh-huh. So I'm not again, but hey. Shit, we good, bro. We, we here. We here. <laughs> I'm good to go, man. You know, I'm super excited about the holiday. And, you know, even when I kind of look at even for where I was a couple years ago. Where y'all now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, it's always sir. a good reflection, hey, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we might dedicate this show to my ex-wife. How'd that work out for you? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> but again, the show here. Hey, 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 we get off team pooch. Hey, boy, we just talking about my man in Ray. It's cold out like there. Yeah, hey, hey, it's real in the field, baby. <laughs> but no, man, we started. But listen, guys, also, we got to call in going. You make sure you want to call us in. It's the, the number is 678 740 9894. Again, that's 678 740 9894. Y'all, look, it's at the end of the year. Call in and just say, What's up? Holler at your boy. All right. Just holler at me. You know, damn, let's, let, let, let's talk, guys. We're yeah. going to celebrate because 2023 is going to be off the hook, but we're going to end in 2022 with a bang. So 678 740 9894. Please call in, guys. Again, we're having that whole, the show again is the uh, how that work out for you? We talk about in general when people move off emotion, not logic. And you see how, you know, sometimes we make them kind of moves like that. How does it work out for right, you? You right, know, and everything. Right. So we're going to have some fun this, today. This is actually a wide ranging topic. Uh-oh. It don't have to be in a, in a certain box. It can be from here to, to yonder. <laughs> yeah, and, and, yeah. And, and really that's why I want to have the conversation because we all done it. Right. We all done it. You know what I'm saying? We done got pissed off, made a decision. We done got tired and made a decision. We've uh, felt hopeless mm-hmm. and made a decision. I, and I understand it like, hey, you know, the uh, 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 the finish line right around the corner. You That's might right. not see it, you know, sometimes. But at the end of the day, you know, it's just kind of like in track, you know, at, if you know, I'm about to lose my damn train of thought. But just, think, <laughs> just like what I was about to say in track, at the end of the day, you know, if you start decelerating because you're feeling tired, it's aching and everything like that, and everybody's still coming behind you, 
you can't speed back up. Mm-hmm. You know what's going to happen right. if you quit. It's over. Mm-hmm. But if you keep going, you don't know the guy in front of you is going to trip up, catch a cramp, whatever. Right. We, we, we let you pass. Exactly. So that's why you never quit. That's mm-hmm. the thing about it. And a lot of times we get dejected because we get hurdles, we get obstacles and things like that. Why the hell I had that brain cramp? But, uh... uh <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Too much going on. Yeah, man, but... No, seriously, though, man, just really a lot of times we make those kind of movements. And I think we all can get, think back in different times in our lives where, man, man I, you know what? I shouldn't have did that. Mm-hmm. We can kind of let ego or pride get in the way like, nah, man, I, I meant to do that damn right. But, <laughs> you know, look back I at mean, I mean, every bit of that. Yeah, <laughs> man, I might have should have did this a different way. And a lot of us like that, especially, you know, you keep living. You're going to you know, and we, we learn from it. It's not nothing that, you know, be ashamed of and stuff. Those are learning moments, you know. Right. Like, damn man, I wish I had a uh, quit that too soon, or you know, made it stuck into it. And uh, but I've learned a lot, you know, even with myself and just life, and even with other people mm-hmm. by learning to hang in there with certain things, and also when to get the hell on too. Right. And, 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 and far too often, I think people move off how they feel, mm. and not necessarily thinking about the big picture. But that's one of the things about it, man. I. Uh, I hear it all the time, man. Hey, can you think of any moment off top of here we just had like a knee jerk reaction? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not saying this to be to be facetious. Um, when I got married, when my, when my ex wife was pregnant with my with my first child, uh-huh. my my knee jerk reaction was to go ahead and get married so I can make sure that that child knows who one knows his father. And mm-hmm. for two, that the child is well taken care of, but that came that spurred from the fact that I didn't know my father, so I figured you had to be there in order yeah. for your child. So my need, I mean, right off the cuff, I'm like, we getting married when I found out she was pregnant. So it was just like, but I wish I hadn't gotten married so young. I wish I would have, you know, went through college, maybe single a little while and all that. Yeah, I mean, it's like I always say, it's always one thing that could change everything, right? Yeah, 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 right? yeah, yeah. You don't regret that, but you're like, man, I probably could have handled that differently if I'd probably. Talk Sat down, you know, maybe talk to an OG well, or something like well, that. Well, well, my grandmama said, You sure? <laughs> that I mean, she ain't say, you know what I'm saying? She said, You sure? I said, Yeah, I'm sure. She said, Okay. I mean, but she she asked me like two or three times, You sure? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I went on here and went through with it. So yeah, that was one of them knee jerk reactions I had. Yeah, we all we, we all had it. You know, I, I kind of even think about it certain times, you know, uh I had one of my sergeants when I was in, you know. And I'm glad I damn knee jerk. You know, just I'm anybody know me. I'm funny about my money. Mm, so <laughs> and uh, I remember the sergeant. You know, typically if you know what's called Article 15, that's like the punishment thing okay. where they take your money, take your your time, and all this other kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. So uh, sergeant getting fly at the mouth. You know, you like to just let it go because I always say the end of the day they can't hit you, right. but they say what they say and everything. But it was one of them days. Sarge got on me, man. So I was going. And I just had to tell Sarge, so like, look, man, Sarge, so listen, I'm going to get the Article 15, so I got to kick your ass. <laughs> right, regardless of what I I got to kick your ass. I'm going to get in trouble anyway. <laughs> right. So I got to kick your ass, right. man. And we got to it over there in the damn, boy, this that hood, man. We got into it right there in the damn warehouse and everything and stuff. And it didn't go too much further than that. I still got in trouble. I didn't get Article 15, but that okay. was just a knee jerk yeah. where I should have just, hey, right, hold on now. You know, like, hey, you know. You know, I ain't gonna be too many, you know, right? SOBs and all this, that, and that. You know, I'm trying to play like I'm, I'm trying to act as deaf as possible, right? <laughs> I've had I have knee jerk reactions as a job. Well, wow, like I've quit it. Have I quit a job? No, but I've, I've I haven't quit, but I have gotten I guess when it was time to get terminated, I was the first one to be terminated, not necessarily fired, but let go because yeah. it wasn't enough work. Because I'm telling you know, I have this thing where I'm just not going let you talk to me anyway i'm not gonna let you walk over me anyway i'm not gonna let you just treat me any kind of way yeah and there was one time like the manager was just being an ass that day yeah i let him have it. i like yeah. literally let him have it but to my defense everybody said that he was actually being being an ass to everybody but i mean everybody else was just letting it pass i was like uh-uh not today what's really? today monday it's about to be the end of the week for me because <laughs> i let his ass have it and yeah. if i would have thought about it the way he was acting, he probably would have got fired anyway because he was just being such an ass. Yeah. But I, I, I just couldn't let him just talk to me like everybody else was letting him do it. And, 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 oh, you know, what's what, what funny, I remember, like, you know, just growing up, 
you know, I grew up on that bank head. And my grandma, you know, you, you know the, the the thought process. Let's just got some ally parent. Tell you to fight everything about it. But, you know, I'll tell you, walk away, right, don't right. fight this, that, and that. But I remember at an early age, a very early age, my grandma said, you ain't always going to be able to turn the other cheek. Mm -hmm. You ain't always going to be able to get, you know, just to be able to, right. to play MLK. Right. You know what I'm saying? You just, right, right, right. you know, sometimes you just got to because right. you don't, you know, especially hell, I'm, I'm a little short dude. Right. You know, hey. You even whoop my ass today, and I gotta get this every day. <laughs> you do it once, yeah, you do it. exactly. Right. So you know everybody's not gonna be privy to you, but you know even when we're talking about just need your reactions, you know even sometimes it's emotionally, you know, just snapping. Mm -hmm. I can even just say you talking about the job. I stayed at a job too long because I thought that they would feel a certain way about me. Right. You, you see right, what I'm saying? Right, right. I don't win it, you know. And, and I just speak that was like in corporate America because it. I, I, I was on that whole get your degree, get your master's, get your education, work hard, da 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 da, and that didn't make a damn difference. Mm. And because I wanted to feel like they were appreciative of me, you know, I kept hanging in there so long, right? As opposed to you know, like, hey, look here, they don't give a damn. You, right. you know, what I'm saying, hey. Hey, you ain't yeah, down, yeah, holler head. You might want to see and realize. You hit that, you'd hit that man, two, look here. two wrongs ago. I can go ahead and do a damn sambo dance with these white folks. They still ain't gonna change. Yes, yeah, that's the other, sir. Yes, boy. Yeah, I can do that. I can, yeah, yeah. You want some water with that cool ass, sir? Huh? Shit. That one come ahead do a damn thing. Yeah. Just pat me on the head. You, have, you ain't gonna you know, that ceiling with all Man, shit. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they ain't give a damn, man. But you know, and and the thing of it is, you doing that because it, 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 the feeling of, of of devastation and defeat is right right there. Because if you sit there and say like, "Damn, man, y'all really don't appreciate me," mm -hmm. because you know everybody, uh, no one wants rejection, right? Right? No one wants to feel that have that feeling. But sometimes you got to sit here and just be honest with yourself mm -hmm. about how certain things gonna go mm -hmm. you know like when i hear a lot of my divorce we'll be sitting here down there it, that was very hard for me to come to the realization Station. this shit over mm -hmm. like when well, maybe this that that maybe i do <laughs> this I cut this watch this do uh -huh. that shit no right she didn't want you hey what we like she didn't put you don't want you <laughs> <laughs> oh we got think maybe if i do this i watch that so the guy put something she wants you <laughs> realization right that you quit. You didn't, and the knee jerk reaction would have been to snap off and just but as you grow older you try not to do the things that you would do that you were younger you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like the younger lee was snapped off older lee is a little bit quieter but i still you know if i feel like it you know like i think a lot i overthink you know what i'm saying yeah. i think too much as they yeah. say i think too much so eventually i'll get to that point to where i'm gonna snap off but it takes a lot more than it used to when i was 25. Well, even at even just say even with it, just a fully mature person, somebody 45, 55, 65, it's nothing for us to turn on the TV and see, hey, listen, fa husband and father of three, he came home and caught his wife in the bed with, you know, right. the milkman. Right. And he killed the whole family and right. burned the house down. Right. And, you know, just snapping. New York reaction. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, and he, all the time, uh -huh. you know, and, and, and uh, I don't, it might be a little more intense than knee jerk. But sometimes we can just sit here and say, well, look, hey, let me call Poo Poochie, man. I done caught this. I done found this. Mm -hmm. Bro, let's go have a drink. Mm -hmm. Let's go do this. Hey, let's go ride around for a minute. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people ain't privy to that. Sometimes mm -hmm. they don't think to do that. And like I said, next thing you know, they done killed the whole house. They done went to the job. What, what, what the sister just did? Went and killed the whole damn, uh, oh, that college square. Done killed the whole, uh, uh, working for the, I guess, the management company, uh -huh. property managers. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, and they, they, she went in uh she, now she done she went on was that a property manager company uh maybe about a month or two ago oh. it was a sister okay and she called down one like i just went to you know uh you know she she went she went to fordham county mm -hmm. like a uh one day to say hey these folks were you know doing some stuff i did it i don't forget exactly I think she worked for a property management company i think she was an accountant mm -hmm. and you know she just felt like they were just you know doing her wrong mm -hmm. and she went to the job and shot everybody Oh, I, and right there, call right there, calling the square, I don't man. Remember that? You know, you know, that, and, and you know. Yeah, you know. A lot of times, I don't think we we think about the consequences of what's going on because the fact that it, it is knee jerk reaction, we don't think about how it's going to work out for us. Hmm. We don't. We at some sometimes we just don't care about that. 
the, the, the fact that we want revenge or we want this or we want that takes over those <laughs> common sense thoughts and conversations with yourself. Like, yeah, it's not gonna work out good. Like, you, you know, get back. You can have a get back when you by yourself. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes when public perception, mm -hmm. you know, just like I always say, sometimes, you know, you can get caught cheating. And if nobody knows, mm -hmm. your significant other might just take you through hell at home. Right, right. But, you know, they got your picture. You know, you got the old <laughs> folk I'm posting your picture. You butt naked on Facebook. Right, right. With your, you know what I'm saying? Right. I and, that, and I agree. I think the fact that other people know, like, even with even with the person who was cheated on, they may be able to let it slide. You, know, you can suffer in pride. Between you and them. Yeah, make you suffer in pride. If everybody, if all your friends know, and then they ain't told some friends, and then like, you feel like every time you come around, they laughing at you because yeah. they know what that person is doing. Exactly. That hurts a lot. You know, yeah. you got to think about that. Yeah, you know, absolutely. It can be devastating, but right. at the end of the day, sometimes still, as time go by, you might see them and say, but look, I might could just, I'm hurt for a while, but I might can get past it. But just for the simple fact you handling it with everybody and folks maybe like you're dumb and all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. Right. That's one of the things you, you said with uh, the Boston Celtics uh uh coach when they called and you know they was just like, What well, what Neil Long gonna do this, that, and they're like, Hell, why she gotta leave? Right. You you don't know what the hell he might not call her with. Right. But you know, everybody was just giving her, hey, he need to leave her and why right. this, that and, you know, it's just People this might have been his get back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> for real. For real. This might have been his get back. Hey, for real. That time, right? Yeah, or two. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? That's when you tap on the show and say, it's cool, but you want him to get you back, right? That's, he might have told that. That's why she just snap off yeah. in public. Yo, he damn sure I owe you one. <laughs> hey, but, but, but you never know. But people will sit there and do that. You know, and sometimes we get where other people see him. Mm -hmm stuff and we get embarrassed and we just like we move out of character mm -hmm. we move out of character we're doing certain stuff man and it's not uncommon right ain't nothing uncommon and, I'm, and, and, and unfortunately i think we see people move too often mm -hmm. when we start talking about emotions mm -hmm. coming to play because you know we start you know my thing even think about this you know just like we're talking about how does that work out for you people using making decisions based off emotion and not logic Again, that that emotion is probably the main trip mm -hmm. that make people do it. And again, some people do so many things off how they feel, mm -hmm. how they feel, and what they think. Mm -hmm. Yes, people all the time. Why you why you do that? What made you do that? Well, I just wanted to. Or I just I believe. I felt like yeah. Not no no facts. Right. <laughs> no facts whatsoever. Right. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing that you know that's definitive that you can't argue with now like that. It's all perception, perception. or just just emotion. You like. You actually did. They, you, you know, you didn't have no clear cut evidence. Mm -hmm. Cause I can feel like you did me wrong. Me feeling and knowing two, two different things. things. You know what I'm saying? Right. And if I don't know it, I, I, even if it bothers me or hurt me, I still got to move a certain way. Right. Now I can be protective of myself. Right. Or whatever, or be kind of looking, but until you know, and far too many times. People just go off what they feel right. or what they think, you know. And, and like I said, believing and knowing two old different verbs. Well, they say that that said that's that believing is the intuition telling you you should know. They say what they say anyway. Like I believe this is happening. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then when, like, you, when you really do find out, that's when it's like. I knew it. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's just like she told you, you the biggest and you the best to y'all argue. I, 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 I believe that all the time. You the biggest. You the best. I believe that. Yeah. She, she's not lying. Yeah, she get mad. Right. Oh, lab bigger than you. Lab the man. Right. Lab made me do this. Right. But I right. thought right. you. No. Right. No, lab it. I scratch lab back up. But you break it out me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't scratch my back. <laughs> God, no. You do. Yeah, you Man, thought that L, yeah, you thought that L DJ L uh L A B with, with my sorority or whatever. Nah. That ain't what that is. That's a, what? that tattoo I got on me, yeah. Uh. And them Greek letters, that's not that's not that's not my sorority. Uh, <laughs> you're there, that's wrong. Not fraternity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> boy. 
boy, hey, 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 whatever. And when people start doing that, they can be your intuition. But what you you can believe what you want to believe. But that's right. why I think a lot of times people get caught up mm -hmm. and make and, and make decisions that you probably won't be necessarily the best for them. And I can understand, like again, when we we you know we live in the now. We live in the now. People see things that that you know this is hot, this is flashy, mm -hmm. you know, and everything. Especially when, you know, to your point of you know, when you're younger, you got some maturity and stuff, but a lot of folks don't grow out of that. That's true. They don't grow out of that. You know, they want perception. And, you know, just especially even being in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I, you can, we can go on social media, everything. You know, even from uh, me working in, you know, in the financial realm, every time I see commercial financial, people, the guys, he's getting out, and he's not talking anything about, you know, his credentials or experience. He's getting out some the Rolls Royce, mm -hmm. standing on the waterfall. You know what I'm saying? Got this girl got matching clothes. Yeah, uh, you know, car. exactly. Got a right. little, you know, diamond studded poodle. Right. You know what I'm saying? Come, come to us and get your taxes done. Right. Like, what the? F you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know. Well, our financial services over here. Mm. Look how we live. <laughs> you can live For this real. way too. <laughs> For real, man. And it's it's just the whole point. People like, okay, they doing good. They doing all right. And it had nothing to do with what actually no kind of substance was going on. Right. And um, unfortunately, a lot of folks buy into that. And they do because they see they see success is visual. They say success is visual. You have to see it in order to believe it. Yeah. I mean, I could tell you I'm a millionaire all day, but if I don't dress in nothing but Levi's and, and Converse, you're not going to believe it. But if I dress in, this is the difference. If I dress in Levi's, Converse with uh, diamond studded Rolex braces and chains, you're going to believe I'm rich. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Absolutely. So it's the perception of, of having money versus the reality of having money. And, and, and that's the thing about, unfortunately, people miss out on so much because they go on what they think mm -hmm. instead of what they know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's real talk because especially when you're trying to actually, you know, you know, inquire and build yourself up and get knowledge or, mm -hmm. you know, find things where you go with, okay, they look like it, they sound like it and stuff. You miss out on a lot. Mm -hmm. You miss out on a lot, man. I'm gonna give you a good example. This business right here, this podcast and the radio stations uh, we do. People don't take it seriously because, especially for us, because we're we're here. We're when we're down here in the dungeon, we sitting on couches, whatever. But if we was in a building with a storefront, they may take it a little bit more seriously. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Address the perception of this is this is where you need to be because the address says so. You get what I'm saying? Absolutely. Right. But you know, go out and buy two or three thousand dollar cameras and all that to do exactly the same thing I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? To give the perception that this is like TV, this is like radio, this is where you need to be. Everybody goes, everybody's still gonna see it because why are we all streaming on the same exact thing? Yeah, get you a red table, but still right. ain't got nobody watching your show, right? You know what I'm saying? That's the thing about it, like. Oh, uh, uh, unfortunately, and, and again, I get a whole part of aesthetics, and people want to you, 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 you want to feel good, right? Right. You want to, you know, you work hard, and you want to buy things that you know that you, you know, you spoil, you know, you know, spoils of your hard work, and that's, and I, and I think that nothing wrong with it, but I do think that if you got to do a lot of tangible things to make you feel like okay, you're worthy or mm -hmm. you feel your worth, um, when those things go or something happens, you know, what, what does that do for you? Right. And, and, How did that work out? Yeah, cause life, life like that. Life, life will have you here, mm -hmm. and next thing you know, it have you there. And, yeah, I mean, and we always say to say stuff like, "Man, I'm about this new car. I deserve. I yeah. worked hard for this new car. I need this new car." But in the reality, you're going off your perception, your 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 emotions, and you're not saying, "Well, the insurance on that new car gonna be this. The maintenance on that new car gonna be this. The condo on that new car, where you might be paying three hundred dollars a month, now you paying two thousand. Because the brakes on your car cost you eight hundred. Yeah, yeah, I saw that damn door dashing in your bins. Right, dumbass. <laughs> you door dashing it, it's the car in your damn bins. Yeah, 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 you know, like shit. You know, you tearing it up there, but you know, just to make the note. Right, right. But that that whole going off emotion and not thinking about how this is gonna work out for him. Like, what's what's gonna be the end result of this? Is that I'm gonna need to get two more jobs to make this payment. But I'm gonna look good while I do it. What are we talk about. Sometimes people think because they have accessibility to something that that's still a good thing for them. Right. You know what I'm saying? I had somebody close to me. Hey, man, I just got pre-approved to get this motorcycle. Right. Man, you can't afford it. You ain't ready. I'm, but they, they told me I can get it, man. Just, man, 
they wouldn't give it to me. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. <laughs> they wouldn't they wouldn't pre-approve me, Poochie, to get buzz kills if I couldn't afford it. <laughs> I can talk about it. This person don't look, listen to the show. Remix. <laughs> Man, come on, dog. It is. Can't tell folks shit. Right. You know, people look at it again. You know, you just look, man. Sometimes just because you can get a hold to it or be in that position, uh-huh. don't mean it's right for you. Right. I like I'm all about people enjoying their money. You work hard, you know, you know me. Work hard, play hard. Right. That's poochie. Right. But at the end of the day, if it's not a good situation for you, it's just not. And ain't now you can do about that. And sometimes we gotta be real with ourselves because if I work, I don't want to acquire something and it took you know it, it takes me put myself in a situation of working and busting my head just to keep it mm-hmm. and i'm not even enjoying it mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying because right, right. i'm not i'm not saying this stuff ridicule nobody about it that'll turn around and actually go buy something and now they got a door dash uber in it but shit, man what the hell you think you know how did how they work out how they work out for you right how they work out for you <laughs> guys give us a call 678-740-9894 again that's 678 678- Seven four zero nine eight nine four six seven eight seven four zero nine eight nine four. Free, free to call, man. Listen, this is the last show of Change of Lives for two thousand twenty-two. So That's please right. give us a buzz now. Give us a buzz. We here. Two thousand twenty-three gonna be different, and it's mm. gonna be deeper. And y'all need to call. Y'all gonna y'all gonna really want to call next year, but you know, the call say happy holidays, whatever it is y'all celebrate. You know, let us know y'all out there. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and I we was, got this phone line here. Everybody kept talking about, man, I need to be able to call. I need to be able to call. I need to talk to Booch. I didn't talk to Donna. I need to talk to you. I yeah. I need to talk to the comic people. I I need to call. Get a phone in here. Crickets. <laughs> well, everybody want to talk to they can't. To right. they can. To they can. <laughs> you know, but but definitely give a call, guys. We like I say, if you want to say what's up, Poochie, or uh, uh, what's going on, man, just give us a call, man. I just want to talk to everybody. To let y'all know. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate y'all all the love and support that we've had this year. You know, with the hey, 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 thirty one twenty, and we was at we was under three thousand a couple months ago. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying just to be to be putting in work and, and growing everything. Right. So I appreciate everything you guys have done for us. Again, at six seven eight seven four zero nine eight nine four. So you know, a lot of you know people look at it. You know, we all you know at some point we living in now, mm-hmm. but we say okay, hey, though know, you know you know what, what's the adage. You can't take the money with you. You can't bury it with you and all that kind of stuff. And I think sometimes people do things to justify their bad decisions. Okay. You know, okay. I know I shouldn't do this shit, but my great granddad, he died with $100 in his pocket. And I ain't finna be doing that. Right. Okay. Right. You know, you know, damn, you know, you know, shit. I'm, I'm pretty sure when damn uh, Warren Buffett and all the other folk kill over, they're gonna have a little chain in their pocket too. Right. But at the end of the day, they still didn't, you know, avoid making, you know, sound decisions. Right. And I, I think so so often that people <clears throat> want to they want things, but they don't want to do the BS to take the acquire. Mm-hmm. Because like I say, it's one thing for me to sit here and look at lab and lab got this lab doing this, that, and that, but I never look at the journey lab had to take. Right. But I don't want to do that. <laughs> no, I uh, yeah, I, yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> nah, man, look, I'm just gonna pay the extra money to go to VIP. We're going to front of the line. You know, you're at the club. <laughs> you know, you want to get in the front of the line. Right. Y'all pay a little extra money. Right. They'd rather do that. Right. Unfortunately, part about it, they got the damn money to do that. Right. So now you say, now you got the want and not the know, and you got the want and you ain't got the, the, the ability mm-hmm. to even get there. So that's why, you know, we got to just be very, very careful. Because a lot of times, we know right and wrong. Mm-hmm. Now, if you if you if you just ignorant to a situation, I get it. The only flip side of that being ignorant to a situation, you have accessibility information. Mm-hmm. So really no excuse to even be putting yourself in that position, right? Right. You know, but but again, the the slow way, the boring way, is a lot of times people don't want to encounter that. And that's you know, unfortunately, how that goes. And typically people don't start reflecting about it till we get to this part of the year, the end of the year. Man, I should have did this. I should have did that. All kind of shit that, like, you know, last December, right. they were talking about what they were going to do in 2022. Mm-hmm. And they may have started on the path to get there. Mm-hmm. But some stupid ass decision, something mm-hmm. caused that stuff to go haywire. Now you're back at square one. Like we talked about the other week. Why the hell you keep starting? No. Uh-huh. Your decision making. Yeah. If, you, if, 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 if it was easy to be in a good position, everybody would be there. 
everybody does not want to actually go through the whole marathon. Right. Everybody want to go through that, and that's why everybody can have certain successes. That's yeah. just, I mean, that's just keeping. That's true. Yeah, that's just keeping it real. Everybody wants to wants to success, but they don't want to. Well, let's put let's put it this way: everybody wants a trophy, but they don't want to run a race. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they don't want to run that race at all. You know, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. I mean, you had a discussion last week, and I, you know, I talk about it now because I had a couple of people I had a later similar discussion about. You know, we were talking about like different in the, giving in the community, uh, like some celebrities right, right, donate right, money, right. and it, it reaffirmed when right. I was talking to other people, like. Hell no. People don't have shit because a lot of time they don't want to get it. And I ain't talking about you just got rough times. Uh-huh. I'm talking about, you know, as far as kids being able to put certain things, I will bet every dollar uh-huh. we can go in any neighborhood in Atlanta, Bankhead, Hollywood Road, Simpson, any one of them areas, and put free computer centers. Right. Free computer centers for all the kids. 24-7. 24-7. Internet, air, hundred computers in every one. Right, we two damn kids, every one. You think so? Hey, hell, like, hell, hell no! I don't think a damn thing. I know. Or, or. I know. Shit, no, I don't think nothing. I know. <laughs> they ain't gonna never do it. I think we got. Often, you know me. I'm always when it comes to our people. I think we ought to be give them a little bit more, maybe a little bit more credit. But you know, hell, you do it. You be out there doing. It. You with the one hundred, black man. You I go these damn. I go these damn schools all the damn time. Parents ain't gonna push their kids to do it. Ah, oh, shit, not too late. Ain't nobody get cold hell. We ain't got no damn computer. Right. You better try to text it. Text your paper. You can't take write it on the phone. No, hell no. They're not gonna do that. Right. They're not gonna do it. Okay. They're not gonna do it. You can give them all the tools or whatever. Uh-huh. They're not gonna do it. Okay. That's why when you go in these damn schools, these kids reading. I mean, reading scores are, are, are atrocious. Now reading is easy. You can download for right now, and you can list the audio books. You can download books. You can. PDF books, it's really no excuse, excuse not to be reading something. You right on that one. I'm gonna give you 100 on that. Man, one. look here. I go ahead, man. Like I said, these kids, man, have these damn You got kids, sixth, seventh grade, can't even damn read. Uh-huh. I mean, definitely reading that, no hiding in the second, third grade reading level. But they and don't that's, see their parents read, but that's what I say about me, though. That's why I say, well, maybe, maybe it could be different. Maybe it'll work out differently because I didn't see my mom read, but I. But I guess it's different because my grandmother made me read. Well, I'm about to say, you don't have to see your parents read, but your parents, they can make your ass right. read. My grandma made you know? me read. She couldn't read a lick, but she made me read. Yeah, but, but so see, that's okay. Okay. Yeah, and, 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 slide away from that. yeah but see, that's what I'm saying. And, 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 and again, what people get about, when we start thinking about thinking emotionally, people never want to address their shortcomings, mm-hmm. what, what they ain't did to get in a certain position. Right. You know what I'm saying? Some folks lucky. Don't get me wrong. Some folks lucky. But then you got a lot of folks like shit. I ain't even gonna go through all that. Mm-hmm. But you gotta go through all that to get that. What you right. keep saying you want. Man, I'm, I'm you know, I'm a firm damn believer. I, you know, I'm not I'm not one of those people to sit here and say, well, these folks need to pay this and they need to get celebrities and athletes to donate this and people. No, hell no, because your ass ain't gonna use it anyway. Mm. That no, no, you cannot, you cannot instill desire. Mm. You got you can't do that. You everybody got wants, right? But desire, and that's when you you're actually you looking like okay. No matter what my you know uh, circumstances, obstacles I got to deal with, I'm gonna make this shit happen. Mm-hmm. You can't put desire in people. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. You know that that's the thing about it. You can put tools and all kind of stuff in front of people, but you can't make nobody stay up all night. Mm-hmm. Oh shit, man! I'm just gonna read a little bit and I do the rest tomorrow. Right. Tomorrow turn into next week and next month and shit never get done. What, what you what you told me that story a while back about your friend in high school how he stayed up all night doing his hard work? And oh he was man. like, I want let me look up your page. He was like, uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> Hey man, hey, hey, my man, attorney Sean Jenkins. May birthday we up today. Oh, okay, happy Jen- birthday, hey, happy hey, lady. Jenkins Law Firm. Okay. Mother guy's own damn law firm, man. <laughs> told me ain't. He's a poochie. That one told me ain't. You know, funny when I was uh, at this uh, conference in Phoenix, me and him hung out, and I brought that story up to me. He's like, yeah, I wouldn't give him a shit. He, he, he still, hey, hey, same way. Right. And I see how he's been in life, man. Super successful. Mm-hmm. But he damn sure, he's like, Poochie, I stayed up all night doing the damn paper. You didn't want to do this? Right. Bags up on his eyes and every right. damn thing. I never forget. I'm like, man, you really going to tell me, ain't? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't. <laughs> you know. But that, I, that 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 was his desire. You get what I'm saying? He, he, he desired to get that done. Slick saying uh, they don't even give kids books to bring home anymore. Slick, they leave them on their desk. That's William Burton. They leave them. They leave them in their damn desk. They leave them. They leave them. Kids leave them in their damn desk. 
at least they did. But you know what's funny? I'm gonna be honest with you to that point. I don't think they have too many books in schools because of what you just said. Right. They got so much shit that's downloadable and sites right. and stuff like right. that. So pretty much you have access to more books on your damn tablet because, mm -hmm. you know, they get the kids computers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So they don't, don't think they even care a big inventory the of books. books. Like school, it, it, exactly. Two book bags of books. It, it, exactly. Right. I think everything accessible uh, will do it because you, you stuff on your tablet. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody doing that. Because mm -hmm. yeah, like I said, I don't, I don't, I, I remember when I was younger, uh, my granddaddy used to work for, um, uh, not granddaddy, grandma was a, 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 a housekeeper. Mm -hmm. So what it got me all in the stuff was the white people, used to, they gave her all these um, Encyclopedia Britannicas mm -hmm. and she brought them home and I was just interested and mm -hmm. I used to read them. Yeah. So that's why I got so in depth with so much stuff because she had brought these old encyclopedia the the white folks that don't pictures in them. yeah and i'm reading in depth uh -huh. over and over and over and over and over again and got versed with different things and stuff but um that was just me right my grandmother made me do that they didn't give a damn about that stuff right. or whatever as long as i was not that's selling dope getting in trouble uh -huh. they were cool yeah so that's what i'm saying like i think it's hard to put now sometimes people can be put in situations and they like it uh -huh. Because it's different and kind of get inspired. That, that that's why I was about you know? to say, even with me, and I and I credit my great grandmother for making me read, but it wasn't something I sit up and said, Who I'm gonna read? But once she made me do it and that desire to do it, you know, I I I wanted to do it after she made me do it. Yeah. After a while it was like, This is all right, you know, you know, yeah. I kind of look forward to yeah. the book, like you said, she had these old old story books and stuff like you read them books and it'd be like 15 stories within the book and all that so you reading this stuff and you like i i, I kind of like this yeah. but it was something i said hey grandma let me read to you no 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 it was something she had to instill in me yeah because a lot of times when you inspire or move a person you really ain't not, not necessarily intending to do it mm -hmm. it's just something you said something you did the way you move you right. know they can or you know uh, approach people mm -hmm. i remember my uh my platoon saw it, man. Uh, uh, he was saw it for a club. He retired. Saw it, Major Antonio Barnes. He look at the show sometimes, but saw it, Barnes. He was just real. I mean, you know, same thing. People say, you know, just say arrogant or whatever. Uh -huh. But he was like, I remember he always said, he said, you know, when people want call my name Burton, he said it's a euphoria I get because they got these expectations. <laughs> and man, that shit had me like, yeah, that's what I wanted. Right. And that kind of, you know, rubbed on me. Right. Like he said, man, he said, when people say my name, they just know it's going to happen. You know, they, it's they, gonna they be done. it's going to be done. Man. He, <laughs> said, he said, he said, it's a euphoria I got. And I said, damn, I like that word. Right. You know what I'm saying? Euphoria. I didn't know the hell euphoria meant. Right. But I'm damn 19, 20, we said it, man, with people, they just know that. And, you know, again, that was one of them things I picked up really not, and I was glad. Uh, 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 social media because I had lost track of the brother then for me to, I, I was able to share that with him mm -hmm. and he never knew that just him being his regular asshole self <laughs> inspired, inspired me right, to right. be an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I just get a huge for me when they call my name. Yeah, he said that at that time. I'm like, right. yeah, and stuff. But that was the thing about it because and it was a true man, when, if they knew he was on it, shit was going to get done. Hey, 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 no matter, ain't going to be no, man, we got to do this. They got so many of these. Shit, it'll make it happen. But that's how he motivated, his, he motivated himself to get it done. That's how he, his desire to get it done. Because mm. he loved the fact that, they, for one, they had to call him to get it done. Mm -hmm. But two, they he, they had to call him to get it done. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. To get it done right. So that yeah. euphoria came on like, yeah, they couldn't do it without me. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. And, 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 and see, when we started, you know, we just spent, you know, the time talking about this emotional, you know, just those feelings, those senses and stuff like that. How things are how people feel now we're gonna go slide into the whole point of just dealing with logic mm. and you know just when we talk about the, the straight thought out part of how things are done okay and most people just don't think logically true people just don't think logically because it's boring and it's honest mm. that's the thing about it right we like to sit here and hope and pray and wish and all that bullshit. right but not necessarily want to approach like okay look you know the, from from the uh 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 the, the former educator Benjamin E. Mays. Yeah. If it is to be, it is up to me. <laughs> right, right. Said, That's that hard behind. No, y'all here right every right. morning. Yeah, it is to be. If it is to be, it is up to me. <laughs> no Benjamin E. Mays right there. But you know, uh, uh, that's one of the things a lot of times people want to deal with personal accountability. Mm -hmm. Again, this is Change Live, hosted by your truly Deontay Burton. Tonight's show is how that work out for you. We're discussing, again, that's, I'm sorry, how that, uh, how, how that work out for you. 
and we're pretty much discussing uh, uh, about making decisions based off emotion, not logic. Right mm -hmm. now, guys, I don't know if I said it. We're streaming live on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Uh, the main hub. I mean, we even even streaming on my other YouTube channel, uh, Mr. Short Dollar, because I know the um, the subject matter kind of crosses over mm -hmm. into that. Because a lot of time people want to, you know, start a business and you know do this and get an invest in this, that, and that because they see people doing certain things. I'm sorry, I'm a <laughs> hungry here, y'all. So, when they see people doing certain things, they think, I could do that too. But they don't see the process that it took to get that person to where they are. You get what I'm saying? They, they see the success, but they don't see the, the, the I guess, the, uh, they see the house being built, but they don't see how they built it, right? The foundation that was laid, laid on, I guess. The nile was good. Yeah. But, <laughs> I mean, well, 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 <laughs> lab, well, well, to that point, people can see the damn process. Uh -huh. But if you do all that shit, okay. no, if you do all that, hell no. Hell no. They go, I say 10 steps. Oh, shit, I can do it in four. I ain't got to do all that. Wow. How I get to right? How do I get 10? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. How can I pass uh, two and eight? <laughs> How many people you think that over the years want to start in taxes? And I start giving them all the steps and start telling them all the stuff they got to go through to get it done. To be successful, you know, I ain't trying. You know, I'm telling you, like, look, man, I'm 22 years in the game. This is how I eat. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, okay, this is what it is. We rapping, we having a conversation. You just figure out, I ain't got to do all that, mm -hmm. or it can go faster. Mm -hmm. and I'm telling people, like, look, you start off, you're not gonna get all these folks, right? But well, I know somebody to do this, that, and I heard. Well, you, they told you, right? Did you see that bank account? Well, I seen this, that you don't know what they're doing. Right. They might have been lucky. Anything can happen. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, listen, discipline. This is how this is gonna happen, right. but people don't sit there and do that. Well, look, right. you might want to do this for your bodies and do that before you get this. Maybe want to do that and do that and all that kind of stuff. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, right. Next thing you know, hey man, how you been? Let's go, how you tap in and go. Man, people don't want to do shit, they don't want to support you with nothing. Right. Did you do what I told you to do? Nah, man, I tried to run it. <laughs> Or when you give financial advice about their business oh, and they man. come to you with the best chicken in town, you're like, well, you know, you got to think about your cost and the space and the, I got to worry about all that. I got to bet. This going to be packed. <laughs> go get that damn food truck. Go right. get that stove. Don't know shit about code. Don't know nothing about accounting. Don't know nothing about marketing. Don't right. know nothing about pr promotions. They don't even know shit about spoilage. Right. All these other kind of things that go into place with that kind of stuff. And next thing you know, man, Health shit. Inspected. Four, five, Health yeah. Health got to come here for go get a damn lease and then a uh, cold coming in now they got to turn around and and uh, uh put ten thousand dollars on this new vent mm -hmm. they got to put this whole new kind of uh, uh station in because the other place was grandfathered in you knew you got to get this but i didn't know that but you just signed the damn lease right instead of finding on the front end <laughs> right. what you got to do to bring it up the cold right i don't want to pay no architect your, i don't want to pay no your it's, sign only two feet tall and the yeah. last sign was 22 feet tall. exactly <laughs> but that's how it was before then but right. you knew uh -huh. But you could have paid an architect or, or some kind of inspector to go on the front end. You don't feel like you need to pay this person five hundred to a thousand dollars. But you're gonna turn around and put twenty thousand dollars in into it the way you want it to be. Then you come in, now you gotta spend another damn thirty or forty to change all that shit, to put it the right way. So it happened all the damn time. Right. Man, I should have listened. Man, if I if I had a dollar for every time I heard, man, I should have listened to you. Right. You were right. No shit. <laughs> That's the reason you came to me in the first Come place. on now. You just didn't like what I said. Right. And so we start thinking about logic. Again, guys, real quick if I get it right in my mouth. Call in, y'all, 678-740-9894. Again, that's 678-740-9894. 678-740-9894. Feel free to call in. But that's one of the things about it, man. Like, when you start getting steps and all that kind of stuff, they look like it's boring. That's what deter a lot of folks. But we people don't want to actually address that when you're using logic and you're moving everything in, in correct order steps, you don't necessarily get to make that immediate impact or the thing is not done just quick enough. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, that's just the way it need to be. Right. And because you have your way instead of the way, mm -hmm. that's what's going to make a lot of stuff just be in a bad position. So that um, think now instead of just working on it to later type thinking, mm -hmm. it always come back and bite you in the butt. And unfortunately, and people find out the hard way. Mm -hmm. They find out the hard way, and they probably find it the most expensive way also. Mm. We're doing it. You know, you hear the discussion all the time. What's one of the discussions we hear all the time? 
should you go to college or you should you not? Should you you not know, people are like, why would I go? Why are you gonna go to college? And you know, you're gonna, you know, you go get all these student loan debts and you don't need all this, you don't need all that. And at the end of the day, do I do I always push college on people? Yeah, I think I push college on people. Now I do push honest honestly, I push don't go to damn school, do your front end homework. Mm -hmm. That's for the kid in school and the parent. Mm -hmm. Don't go get you a degree, don't get these damn student loans and get a degree. That's gonna not gonna be costly. It's you can't make earnings. Yeah, or, or can't make earnings to pay back this damn loan. Right. You know, at the end of the day. Now, you know, that's and that's just real. Mm -hmm. Cause you can actually go to trade school, same thing happening, or or, 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 or or take up a certain thing, and you know, you put you put time into it or acquire mm -hmm. certain debt and it don't work out. So you gotta do some front end homework to find out, okay, if I want to work, you know, as a marine biologist, understand you gotta move to a coast or go somewhere else abroad right. to be able to do that work right, right. certain engineering certain, i mean there are certain things you just got to be honest about with that you mm -hmm. know if you get a history degree you probably got to go to law school you might got to be a teacher like mm -hmm. you ain't gonna have so many damn options mm -hmm. with that sociology degree right. Right? right i don't think a lot of people do that but i'm always gonna push a certain thing because we had a uh, our hot talks brother at the cigar shop and um i get this shit all the time mm -hmm. man i wouldn't go there because hell i make a hundred thousand dollars driving my truck Mm -hmm. You know, if you make that, that's the same thing. No hell, it ain't. I make, I can make a hundred. We're not even putting forty hours in a week, right? And I don't feel it, right? I'm not knocking nobody, but it's not the same, same right? It ain't the damn same, right? You know, real talk, it ain't. You got to sit here, drive, wheel, do this, that, and that. Now, if that's what you like doing, that's fine, right? Sometimes people won't look at it because, oh, uh, it ain't go fast enough. Why the hell I'm gonna sit four years? I can get out here and make this money now, right? Like no nah. apples to apples, it was actually apples to bananas because I might took me a little bit longer to get here, but I, my back ain't hurt. Yeah, I ain't sitting in the truck all day. I ain't doing it. And I don't knock it either, but I'm just saying this is, did certain things. You can't compare, it. right? You can't compare it down again. You can't base that. Go we go back to what we talked about before. You can't put desire. If you a hustler, you you in the truck all the time, got the wheels moving. Mm -hmm. You can make a lot of money. Now you got all these degrees, but you ain't no person that's gonna be aggressive and try to be progressive. Right. You're not gonna make a lot of money, right? Because you're like, I got this paper. Why you ain't give me this? Right. Give me that. It should be on the mat. Exactly. Right. Now you're gonna say, okay, look, I got this. Let me get these certifications and your pay going up. Next thing you know, you got people offering you this and this, that, and that. You know, you're offering a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand dollar jobs, right? That's the thing about it. you got these corporate America guys, all these guys on Wall Street, these CEOs. They make it down on a low what? Maybe it's what two million dollars. Mm -hmm. We ain't talking on Fortune 500. They make it 10, 20, 30, 40 million dollars, mm -hmm. right? Right. I mean, hell, you know, again, again, we talking about look, you it's no way in the hell. And I know some of them guys, they you know, they put in work and is a different thing with that, but it still ain't compared from a physical standpoint. We're doing it. Right. I'm not trying to deter or uh, 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 I want to get that disclaimer uh, from people from doing any kind of trade or whatever, this, that, and that. I am just trying to say that. Some things gonna take order steps, mm -hmm. right? And sometimes people are deflect from doing going on a certain path because they feel like it's gonna take too much. Mm -hmm. You know, people can say, Well, look, man, I went to school, I went to college 10 years ago, and I don't want to go to law school. Why the hell I like going to law school at 40, 50 years old? You know, so I'm too old to be doing it. But if you're gonna be doing the same shit mm -hmm. for the next four or five years, what is it hurting? Right, right. You, you know that and this. Yeah, exactly. It ain't it, it, it ain't it, it, it ain't hurt anything. And I just think sometimes well because we want it now, we don't want to look at it and we don't think logically about it. No, 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 no. And and, and what, what what a lot of times people don't want to look at certain times the opportunity cost by certain skipping certain things. Mm -hmm. You know, just because you know you feel like okay, why would I put myself to, to get that? Because that'd be the whole thing. A lot of times people look at the time or the cost, just say with loans and everything. Mm -hmm. But then anything can happen. You turn around like, look, you know what? What what has happened in the past six months? Fuel costs doubling, mm -hmm. freight, freights, freights. You know, shrinking down and everything like that. Everybody, guys that were making, hell, exactly. four or five, th exactly. Up, so you weren't really getting no truck delivery. Yeah. Exactly, you can't get no damn, no damn loads now. Right. You know, that's not knocking anybody, but again, what's your pivot? Right. You know, so that's the kind of thing that we're doing. It. Me, I had a salon seventeen years. I can sit here and have a chain of salon. And like I told, you know, my son that, you know, P and Cobb and like, look, bro, get your degree. Cause I, I'll tell you what I observed all them years. Them girls be making booming, they be making money. When shit got slow, they had to go to Walmart. Mm -hmm. Real talk. Right. Real talk. They making right. all this money one moment. Stuff got slow, they had to go to Walmart. Right. Because it wasn't no kind of pivot. Right. Makes sense. That was all that was that was it. 
that was it. So you sitting there looking at it and everything. So, but if you got this going, that going, that working and everything, because that's the thing about it. A lot of times, and when we say education, it ain't necessarily gonna be college. It can be a trade. It can be any kind of certification. What you got, you know, what whatever it is. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, as you progress in life or even go through it, you're either gonna pay for somebody uh, education regardless. Mm-hmm. That be it. You know, the dude actually got to repair and build a certain thing. Mm-hmm. They got to install this. That, somebody education. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The doctor they got to do your surgery. Right. You're going to pay for the shit somebody, somehow. Somebody. Indirectly, <laughs> you will pay. Right. right. You will pay for it, right? right. And, and, and however your perspective, you want to look at it or not, that's on you. But some way, somehow, you still going to pay for it, mm-hmm. you know? And the thing that you feel they're going to take too much time to be doing it just ain't gone, mm-hmm. you know. It just it is it, there, and a yeah, lot of like, times, like people always say, and I'm, I don't pay for it. <laughs> yeah, when you take out on a date, you paying for it indirectly. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> right, right, right. What's they just gonna say, baby? Look, we here. What's your cash out? Right. I don't even feel like going out. <laughs> What's your cash out? What's your cash they gonna get this over with. <laughs> well, I don't really feel like hanging out and. You know it is what it is. <laughs> What's your cash out? <laughs> I, 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 I had to tell one guy that on social media. He he was I don't pay. He was a little something. It was something on his post. I said something. He said, "Well, I don't pay for it." I said, "You click out on a date? Yes. You buy clothes? Yes. You put gas in the car every now and then? Yes." Okay. <laughs> he probably came my cheaper. Just what's your cash? Out? What's you saying? Let's get it over. And you don't pay for it. Mm. No, I do that out the cash of my heart. Okay. Well, stop doing it and see what happens. <laughs> you thinking from a logical standpoint, right? I don't feel like I pay for it, right? Because I don't do that. I don't right. come out and say I do it. You, hey, bro, this logically, yes, you are. Yeah, because as soon as it stops. <laughs> A lot of times, folks don't want to look at it like that because, right. like I said, that's the honest way. Well, that's reality. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And that's the thing about it because we talked a couple weeks ago about the whole point of just keep starting over, mm-hmm. of just doing it because so many times people feel and think that they can actually jump over things mm-hmm. and miss things and stuff like that. But, you know, no, honestly, you can't do it. Some things got to be done a certain way. Mm-hmm. And as we go into a new year, y'all, one thing we know for certain, that clock going to keep moving. Time gonna keep ticking, and we're gonna get older and older and older. At some point, at some point, you gotta be honest with yourself and just say, Look, some decisions that I'm making right now is costing me in the big grand scheme of things. Right. You feel me? Right. So when you sit there and say to yourself, like, look, man, I'm doing this shit over and over there again and stuff like that, and you want to blame no other people, some of that shit just you. Mm-hmm. You know, people you date, jobs you take, situations you put yourself in, mm-hmm. you know, you can be a parent. You know, and over and over, this kid, you know, we're, we're doing this and stuff. I've had to make hard decisions with my children. Like, look, man, I ain't doing this shit no more. No, because at the end of the day, I'm like, look, me hoping your ass get better and you showing me what the hell going to get better. Two right. whole different two, damn two things. things. Yeah, things. yeah, you know things. what I'm saying? Right. And, 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 and you got to come be realistic with yourself. Uh-huh. Like I said, I working at that damn job. Maybe at some point they can just see. That Deontay is worth it, man. Shit. I told you, I could buy that. With the hey, I could buy that jigaboo. Yeah, you see that bow? <laughs> see that bow? I huh, want to see me. Some... You see me five eight, 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and a white folk don't give a damn. Deontay, do a little dance move you did earlier. Yeah, do the moonwalk. Can you do the Michael Jackson moonwalk, Deontay? Right. Take me out on the ballroom moonwalking. Yeah, you like that? Play that music. Right. <laughs> hey, man. I ain't saying that shit. Not at all. No, man. And, so, and far too often, we hope people going to do certain things for right. us and hoping going to get your ass hurt. Right. And, you know, you knowing it, that's, that, that, that's, the, that, that's a, a very harsh reality because once you know, now you got to deal with the honesty of that. Mm-hmm. You know, do they really care? Hell no. no. They don't give a damn. Man, we talk about it. People, you sit and talk to your boss. Well, look, I prepared this. I've done this. I got these skills. You think I don't know that shit? They you think I don't know that shit? Or else you would have been fired. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ago. They know that shit. Right. They don't give a damn. <laughs> but you, you hope, keep... yeah, you sit there and do it because if you hear the deal, we talking about the straight reality of things. If you can command a certain wage, you'll get it. Right. If you can command certain situations, you'll get it. Right. You know what I'm saying? That shit'll come to you. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I knew when I left corporate America, I got three job offers. I knew what the hell I could have made. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. real talk. Now, again, I would just be very honest. I was afraid of change. Mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. or afraid, just do that like anybody else. Right. People get comfortable, like this, that, and that. I don't know what's out there, whatever. But I seen quickly, oh, shit, I can get this, I right. can get that, but I want to do my own thing. Right. But if you can't do that, you can just say, like, no, uh uh-uh. uh. You I, I what, what what is it? I know my worth. I know my worth. Yeah, you you think you know your worth. You know it, but mm-hmm. do they know yeah. it? <laughs> That's the question. Well, <laughs> you hope it, but they know it. Right. Now, that's the other damn way. You pray. So that's the thing about it. I feel like I deserve this. I should deserve. If you if you really do it, they will give it to you. I mean, come on, dog. I mean, we, we see this shit all the time. Uh-huh. These athletes, they you know they go on free agents and stuff like that. They go into this team. They go into that team. They just got just signed a new hundred million dollar contract. Uh-huh. Shit, you know it's worth. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, we the middle of the season. They want to change things. They can do it. And unfortunately, man, sometimes, and that don't mean say yourself short. It means just be honest and realistic about things. Mm-hmm. But we don't want to do that because we want to go back what what we feel or what we think, mm-hmm. not what the hell we know. You know what I'm saying? What that slick saying? Slick says she tried to talk to her cousin about starting over so much, and but she see it as being compulsive, mm-hmm. like just you know, compulsive nature, her compulsive nature. Yeah, because a lot of times people don't want to see shit through, right? And that's what we talking about, like. If, if it got five steps, and that five steps may be over a year and a half, two uh-huh. year period, right? Uh-huh. But you know, you get like six months in, the shit ain't going as fast as you want to be. People quit, right? And what we just say, how they think it should go, a- absolutely. You know, what I'm saying that that was that issue, like it should be going this way, but it's not going that way. So I'm done with it. Yeah, I'm moving on. Yeah, but when we quit, it's uh-huh. over. We uh-huh. definitely we don't know what will happen when we quit. Right. You know when you're a gay son of honest, uh, honest self. Right. You know that. Cause that was my whole thing. I said, let me go try work for myself. Mm-hmm. If this shit work, I'm gonna give it full throttle. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And just see how it goes. You know. Right. And a lot of times people don't want to do that. I understand the whole situation when stuff happens. Right. You get sick. This, that, and that. That's that's life. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. You got to cut things short. You got to pivot and adjust. I get it. But a lot of times people we quit for that happen because right. it, like you say it like. I think they should be going. Excuse me, I should be doing more or going faster than that. But you, you just thinking. Uh-huh. Nobody told you this shit gonna work like that. <laughs> you wouldn't promise that at all. Uh-uh. <laughs> you wouldn't promise that at all. And, so. and sometimes we we just ain't ready from a maturity, mental, financial standpoint uh-huh. for certain things to happen. Well, uh, uh, not only that, but we, we're not honest with ourselves that we can't make it happen. We can't. We we don't have the capacity to do that. Mm. You know that's. That's not how it's gonna work out for us because why? We can't. We 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 don't have the ability to, to do that. Some people can go out and make it happen. Don't get me. You know what I'm saying? Some people can change the trajectory of where they're going. Hey, wake up in the morning, man. They just they right. just a make it happen person. Just make it happen person. Yeah. And some people gotta be re- realistic. And say, I can't wake up. I mean, a while back, six six asked me. She said, Why you ain't? Uh, she said something about why you ain't washed them clothes or brought them clothes up here or something. I said, just lazy. Because mm-hmm. I know it was just because I was lazy. I could have been dead. Yeah. Just lazy. <laughs> Sometimes that response don't even want to be accepted. Right. <laughs> no, she said, okay, I can't, I can't even, you know what I'm saying? She's like, cool. I was just like, I'm just lazy. <laughs> and, 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 and far too often, you know, the good thing you was able to admit it, far too often people rest on all kind of reason why yeah. it don't happen. Like, no, it's just, it's just that. And when we don't want to address what we ain't did, uh-huh. that's when we had them problem. Because, you know, until you admit it, just you know, when I coach football and the kids make a mistake, coach, I seen, I did this, son. Until you say, I messed up, we can't fix it. Right. We can't fix it. Mm-hmm. You can sit here and I didn't see it, they didn't do it or whatever. Son, until you admit your mistake, we can't fix it. Mm-hmm. We can fix you. We can fix what you did wrong. Right. But I can't fix your ass not admitting to it because right. at that point the shit gonna keep happening because you don't want to address it. You don't want to admit. It. Yeah, but see that's when we grow as a person uh-huh. when we can admit what we did and then move forward fixing it. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and far too often people just don't want to do that. No, nah, they don't. They don't want to do it. It's never our fault. It's nah. never our fault. It's mm-hmm. always. Yeah, it's always somebody else's fault. And uh, and unfortunately, what they did to us. Yeah, and unfortunately, <laughs> so many people don't you know move forward from that uh-huh. you know and uh that was one of the biggest things i want to have that discussion with everybody tonight because again uh we finna start embarking a whole new year 2023 uh-huh. and i know everybody gonna do the best they can to make things happen and i want you to but i want you guys to be very very honest with yourself when you start talking 
I did a video the other day. I think that was on uh it was on Mr. Short Dollar about you know playing with numbers. Because me and one of my, my older son were talking, and I was like, he's like, well, you know, give me want some advice about things. Far too often people playing with words. When mm-hmm. you're playing with words, words don't keep you accountable. Right. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna start that, I'm gonna build this, that, and that. But you start talking about look, I gotta spend, you know, eighteen hundred dollars, you know, to do this. And at this point, if I sell that this and I sell so many of these, I can make that. Mm-hmm. Now you're actually planning. Mm-hmm. Other shit is just words. Just but words. Wor- words don't make us accountable. And that's the thing, a lot of times people don't want to go through that logic is honesty mm-hmm. logic is real mm. all that emotional shit it's just gonna keep you that way but Emotional. people yeah and that's the thing about people stay there because they want they don't want to be accountable because mm-hmm. you know that you know it, it, it's very frightening mm-hmm. and, and but you'll you'll never see the growth that you really can have until you start being honest with yourself about what you did or didn't do or how you can fix it you know what i'm saying yeah that's true i and it took me a while to get there to get to that but now it's like since i didn't cross the <laughs> since i'm going down here now since i'm 52 it's kind of like it's gonna be honest like rika asked me sometimes like uh, i think about it i don't feel like doing it I, don't, yeah. I just don't feel like doing it it's not that i can't do it i don't have the ability to do it i'm honest with myself i don't feel like it that's just the way it goes i just don't feel like it but i believe that that cre- that clears a lot of confusion you know what i'm saying but it see- clears a lot of confusion with myself personally Mm-hmm. but a lot of confusion with her as well you know what i'm saying yeah but see that the the, the thing about it, you leave, is one thing you being honest about you don't want to do is another thing you sitting there saying you want to do something uh-huh. and you ain't on that track to be putting stuff in right you know that's <laughs> the thing about it. everybody want to be financially independent mm-hmm. everybody want to be a business all this stuff but they start hearing like okay the real deal about doing it no oh, you ain't got to do all that you know, how many people out here all got a damn llc <laughs> Everybody got one in the pandemic. Man, <laughs> that shit ain't worth one of them folded damn paper, throw right. that shit like an airplane. No, right. If you, you, know? you ain't doing nothing with it, you ain't trying to make it happen. And, and, and look, I'm not knocking nobody. I love people who do entrepreneurship and all that kind of stuff. But that's the easy part. Uh-huh. When you start putting your feet on that concrete, again, no, no, uh-huh. hell no. And spending the money you yeah. don't have. There you go. On stuff you know you need for this business to be successful, and you don't know where the first customer gonna come from. And spending your damn time, <laughs> you spending your damn time, All right. and you get no. Did I damn tell your ass no and uh-huh. everything? What we say, guys, no means not right now. Not you know right what I mean? So <laughs> at some point you're gonna break. I'm yeah, gonna get yeah, you. Then you three or four years in, and you still getting the same nose, and still making, and only inched up a little bit. Yeah, that's the, that's what people gotta sit there and say. Are you ready to go through that? All right. Are you ready to go through that? But everybody ain't ready for it, and everybody ain't not gonna get the results that come from doing those kind of things. Right? I'll give you one good example before we go. Podcast. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody got a podcast. Everybody see a podcast. They're like, well, if I do a podcast, boom, it's a success. And that's not the case. Think about how long you've been doing this podcast before you went over and, and, and before you went over to the you know 30, 40,000 followers. It wasn't because of some formula you had, it was just you kept grinding and that one video hit and it took you over 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 the over the uh threshold and that's a good point because to be honest which i feel like i should i should be further along right but if i could be stuck in comparison myself just especially with changing lives which is the first one if i get stuck into that i'll quit because mm-hmm. i'm like man i know i talk about better shit than them right i know we're more engaging we got more better subject matter we got a better uh, uh product mm-hmm. than a lot of you folks but what it is I can see him be a hater. They buying likes. They buying views. Mm-hmm. This is what they're doing. But I'm just saying, like, I could get on that would be that BS, but I can't do nothing but what focus more on what the hell I okay. need to do. Right. That's do co- what I what I can control. Uh-huh. But a lot of times, you know, people get caught into that because again, me, you sit there and talk, man. Because even when I'm going through the divorce, I'd be like, man, I gotta do a little bit more, change a lot, do a little bit more. But then I say shit, and I put my face in the dirt. Mm-hmm. This summer, like, look, man, we're going to try to do I'm, I'm doing it. I had to do stuff. Mm-hmm. I had to get him make more video changes. I had to do that kind of stuff because we had hit the plateau right. with doing it. And, and that's the kind of thing about it. I can sit here and just, I could have quit. Hey, man, I'm just going to do everything with Mr. Short. Mm-hmm. Like, no, I, I got something good right there. Right. Let me work with it. But that's how it is a lot of times in life. And to your point, because if you're not getting the results you feel like you're getting, you need to let it go. Mm-hmm. But no, man, that's not how it is. Mm-hmm. I mean, we've been yeah. doing this podcast thing down here for a while. Mm-hmm. for a long time you know certain shows do certain things do good but it's easy for us to say you know what it could be easy for us to say you know this thing ain't ain't where it's at 
we need to move on. But at the same time, and I, I watched, I went to a seminar while I listened to a seminar live stream, and the guy said, "Well, I it took me ten years before it took off." Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It, and he like ten years. And you need to hear that. And I needed to hear that. Yeah. Like he like, I didn't take off right away. I didn't get to these followers. And you know, it took me. I don't think I got this many followers. I think he had like a million followers. I don't think I got a million followers. So I was eight years in. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard Gary V. He was streaming about man. I was doing the live stream for two hours, but with damn one person in there, right? You know, just looking at it. You know, and this guy, he, he might cut it on 20, right. 30 thousand people in there. Uh -huh. You know, it's the same thing. You see the guy like Kevin Samuel, mm -hmm. eighty nine years in the game, right? And that's when you see that kind of stuff. But life will reward you for not quitting. Mm -hmm. You know, and it will hunt you for quitting. Right. So just always keep that in mind. And guys, yeah. listen, you know, we're going to wrap everything up. You know, uh, this has been an awesome 2023. Make sure you tune in next week. Mr. Short, we're going to do the whole goal setting video and have a good discussion in regards to what we need to be doing uh, for 2023. And I'm going to give you my whole blueprint that I give each year in regards to how to properly set goals, implement them, track them, and, you know, make sure that you can uh, uh, cover everything you plan for the next year. What, 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 what's the lead, guy? People live in microwave time. People like like it quick yeah mm -hmm. instant gratification right don't want to go through the bullshit right but that's your life yeah that's your life you know if, we, if everybody can have it they have, have you know <laughs> but nobody want to do the other stuff man but uh i do want to tell you guys again with this being the last show of 2022 i really appreciate all you guys and stuff like that you know it's been a, a, a unique past couple of years man you know i think your boy did pretty good this mm -hmm. year man so i just want to tell y'all from the bottom of my heart i love you guys and i appreciate it make sure you tune in next week to Mr. Short Dollar, but if you haven't, we give Best Streaming Live on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, and Twitter. The main hub is the Change Your Lives uh, YouTube channel where we talk about issues just like it is. You know, people dealing with each other, motivation, family, parenting, uh, uh, just life stuff, professional development, personal development. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. We got a plethora, a whole big catalog of, of different videos and subject matter for you guys to take advantage of you never know what you can run across or hear that can change your day change your situation and change your life so with that said we're going to sign off for 2022 love you guys take care be safe and keep your ass warm this weekend that's right gonna find you somebody <laughs> let's say somebody love yeah <laughs> gonna love somebody hey 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 listen listen i'm gonna say it like this don't get mad you don't need no skinny men in this weekend get you somebody fluffy yeah it's too damn cold too damn cold unless you got two of them trying to start that fire get somebody fluffy warm rub do all that kind of stuff the weather man done told you right i'm saying i'm gonna let you know <laughs> stay warm, stay alert, and I will see you guys in 2023. Y'all right. take care now. Uh, actually, happy holidays to y'all. Oh, yeah, happy holidays, happy holidays, and, and stuff and like that. Yeah, and don't go broke. <laughs>